The Case of the Candy Bandit by Archit Taneja The superlative superlutes Aarti and I decided to skip PT class to catch Spark while it was committing the crime and convince ourselves, mainly Aarti, that we were right. We pretended to be combined sick. Divya came up to us and asked suspiciously, Rachita, Aarti, how did you both get sick at the same time? Aarti rolled her eyes like she always does when someone says something naive. She always rolls her eyes the moment Divya opens her mouth. It's possible for best friends to get sick at the same time. It's viral fever. If one gets sick, the other one does too. It's like chicken pox. Divya warned Aarti not to touch her sweets and left for the PT class with the other girls. Ayush came up to us and insisted that we come too. Aarti, I'll make sure the guys pass you the ball. He sniggered. We aren't feeling well at all. We will do our homework. I said. Should I stay with you guys? In case you get more sick or something? I can do homework with you too. It's fine, Ayush. We can take care of ourselves. Miss Shalini won't like it if too many kids are absent. Besides, we don't want you to get sick too. Arthi said. Ayush tried to come up with some reason to stay, but couldn't manage anything. He decided to leave, muttering something faintly as he left the classroom. But I wasn't able to catch it. Arthi was angry. She made a loud plock noise with her tongue, staring at him. Ayush noticed it, looked at her, sighed and left. Why are you so angry all of a sudden? I asked. I'm angry because I'm sure now that Ayush is behind it. Huh? How? Shh, I'll tell you later. Spark might come out any moment now. Aarti whispered. We were the only ones in the class now. We sat at a desk next to the center of the crime scene. Aarti sniffed around and insisted that we sit at another desk further away to prevent the thief from smelling our presence. I did what she said. The smelling department was completely hers. Just as we were sitting down, Aarti whispered, Look! Look at Ayush's bag! And there it was. There was our little fluffy thief. It went off to Aarti's bag. It grabbed the treat packet with toffees in it, holding one end in its mouth. Aarti couldn't control her excitement. Oh, Spark! You are so adorable! Take as many toffees as you want, baby! She whispered, as if talking to a little baby. I had to shh Aarti down. Spark realized that it wasn't alone. It ran with the toffee back to Ayush's bag. Keep your mouth shut, Aarti. Spark will figure out we are here. I whispered to her in an angry voice. Aarti looked at me right in the eye. Uh, sorry. Please don't be so loud. I said again, nicely. That's more polite. Aarti smiled and turned back to Ayush's bag, hoping Spark would come out again. Spark finally took a peek outside. It went to Arjun's bag this time. Arjun had got a cupcake made by his grandma. Spark was in Arjun's bag for a while. It finally came out and slowly dragged the heavy packet back towards Ayush's bag. Spark decided to take a break. It stopped somewhere close to the center of crime. It snuggled into the treat pack and spent a while inside it, moving a lot. It came out with little cupcake pieces stuck on its whiskers. It seemed more upbeat now. It had clearly been eating the cupcake. It then slowly dragged the treat pack back into the bag. It came out again and headed towards my bag. I had got a banana today. It came out quickly without anything and rushed into another bag close by. We saw it drag a treat packet with a chocolate bar inside it. 
At one point, it tried to dig inside the treat packet and tear through the chocolate wrapper, but it gave up and continued with the task of slowly dragging the treat packet back to Ayusha's bag. After that, Spark didn't come out for the rest of the recess. The class was about to end. Arthi and I looked at each other and smiled. I took out the case file and plotted Spark's path. Spark must be finishing the rest of the cupcake now. Arthi giggled. What was that strange noise you made in front of Ayush? I asked Arthi. Ayush made that plock sound with his tongue when he left the classroom. It was the same sound he used while showing us Spark's tricks. I wanted him to know I'd heard it. Oh, I hardly heard it. I knew Arthi had a sharp nose. I didn't know she had a sharp ear too. Why did he make that sound though? Arthi wondered. Maybe he wanted to warn Spark that the classroom wasn't empty. He didn't train him well enough after all. We saw it commit the crime," said Arthi, raising a victory fist in the air. "So you are convinced now?" I asked. "Sure am, me mate." Arthi winked. Divya entered the class, followed by Arjun and Vipul. The classroom started to fill up. Ayush was one of the last ones to come. The first thing he did was to search for us. He looked at us in fear and despair. He walked to his desk and checked the contents of his bag. He sighed and tried hard not to look at us for the rest of the class. Arjun screamed and made his usual horrified face when he found his cupcake wasn't there. Arthi pretended to search her bag and shouted out, "Oh, my toffees are missing! Oh, the horror!" I nudged her. "Don't be over dramatic, Arthi." Act naturally. Oh, right. <laughs> Arthi giggled. Has someone else lost their sweets? My chocolate bar is missing. Vipul said, scratching his head. I got an apple today. It's still there. Said Ayush, acting disappointed. The only thing Ayush doesn't hate is candy. He loves candy so much that he is ready to steal it, and he's had the perfect accomplice to get away with it. Stealing is not cool, but making your pet rat steal for you is despicable. We were both quite angry with him. Spark isn't the thief. Ayush is. I feel so bad for Spark. Arthi cried out when we were alone. Yeah, Spark is just following his orders. There is no fun in solving a crime if no one gets punished in the end. We could make sure Ayush never got to see candy again. On the way back in the bus, a thought crossed my mind. Why do you think Spark didn't take the banana out of my bag? I asked Arthi. Because Ayush hates bananas. <laughs> Arthi giggled. I think he's trained Spark not to steal fruits. Yeah, Ayush really does hate fruits. Arthi giggled some more. We both put ourselves in Ayush's shoes and thought about why he hated fruits so much and why he loved to steal candy. His parents always put fruits as his treats. I wouldn't like being treated with fruits all the time. I said. Yeah, imagine getting a guava after dinner. Arthi sighed. Maybe that's what forced him to do this. I said. Ayush did a bad thing. But we weren't sure whether he deserved the blame. If I were Ayush, I wouldn't have stolen candy, since my job is to prevent crimes. But I certainly would have tried to figure out some non-criminal way to get my hands on sweet stuff. Ayush isn't as bright as I am, so he may have not come up with clever ideas. Maybe there isn't anyone to be punished after all.